Hey, Alder to Sergio back at you with my 20th video in the last few weeks. Yes, I'm back if you're watching or re-watching me since, uh, you know, subscribing to me a long time ago. In my last video, I rolled this bulwark, five of eight, and here it is, putting it on Vlad Dracula. I had asked you guys which we thought I should put it on. A lot of you said Vlad Dracula or Santa Boom. I'm going to use my talent runes to upgrade it to six of eight. Increases attack and hit points by 30%. 7 of 8 will take that to 40%. And of course, 8 of 8, as you can see here, increases it to 60%. All right, let's go check Vlad Dracula out in Lost Battlefield. I normally put him as position 1. This is just sort of my high damage wave. I'm going against an Ares Revite 4. You hate it, I hate it. We all hate them. But for whatever reason, I won that right there without having an Ares. I don't have an Ares on any of my three combinations simply because I suck <laughs> at rolling. I suck at rolling. Um, I'd say probably there's a small portion of you think I just suck at general, but that's all right, too. Anyways, my wave two then is my dirty wave. I like to call this my dirty team. Okay, that's the Atlanticore team. If you guys have an Atlanticore and you're not using it in Lost Battlefield, the only reason for that is one of two things. Number one, your account is so awesome, you don't need to have a dirty team. And number two, you just don't realize the power of a dirty team. What's a dirty team? A dirty team is a team like this, right here that you're looking at, right here, does not need yeah, it does not need Minotaur in it, in my opinion. You can put someone else there. Put Minotaur maybe on a uh, high damage team or my Vlad team. This is my team that I try to sometimes win against Ares. If you don't have an Ares, you need to have a fast stun team to try to stun their team and stun the Ares so that you can kill it. Like, here is an example. My stun team against an Ares that doesn't have Revitalize 5. He looked like he had Revite 1, probably as a second talent. In which case, the stun lock there from the Minotaur plus the fear factor of the Vlad Dracula took that team out. Now, here's my dirty team. That is Atlanticore. This is essentially, he goes first. He's got Revite 4 and Revive as a second talent. Now, look, if they have a high damage wave against my Atlanticore, many times I will win a, a against a team I really shouldn't win against. By the way, season points, if you are an Uber account, sure, you're aiming for a high amount of points, I think a thousand plus to get to that level. If you're sort of like my account, a not super crazy awesome, but still decent account, you're pretty much just shooting for 600. That will get you, you know, a decent amount of gems, you know, you know, you're going to have to pay a lot of money to get to that next level. And why do that? You know what I'm saying? And now here is my dirty team up again. I know my Vlad team smoked him and my dirty team is up now. And it does look like my, there's my Atlantic core. See the, see the dirty win there. And I did not get that one, but that was really close. And then I'm up to my third team here, which is kind of my weakest link. And I am against his Atlanticore team, so I'm hoping I can smoke his Atlanticore before his shield goes off, which does appear to be the case there. So, yeah, I didn't get a lot of procs off that. Just sort of, I just, bleh, raw, dirty power, like brute strength win there. That was not really even proc-based win. So that gets me to that 500 point level, which is sufficient for me, in my opinion. Now about Vlad Dracula going to Bulwark 8 of 8, this is just recorded today here. Um, let's just take a look at him and how he, with a stacked pumpkin duke, Cupid, let's see if we can't just see, wow, those are a lot of hit <laughs> point walls simply gone. <laughs> So Vlad Dracula with a stacked magic plus a stacked PD and Cupid. No druid here, I don't think. For some reason, I have Orcs Bane in. Um, that's fine. I guess we'll go with Orcs Bane. When I see bases like this that I'm raiding, I tend to drop right by the heroes so that I can get a super stacked PD. My PD right here is my revitalized one, not my Berserk 5. It's my revitalized 5 PD, and you can just let's watch a Vlad. There he is. Boom. Wow. Holy crap. I am not used to my Vlad behaving that way, to be honest with you. 
Uh, I'm used to my whole team wandering around those walls. My my landwalkers like PD, for example. I'm used to him. He just goes through the opening that Vlad creates through the destruction of any wall in his path. So I'm definitely not used to that. And I could get used to this. This is pretty interesting. Vlad, I mean, walls fear him. Um, the only potential downside of uh, him killing walls is when you want your pumpkin duke to hit walls in let's say insane dungeons and if Vlad's just destroying all the walls your PD is not going to get stacks and so that might be the one downside of not using Vlad at all in some of the dungeons but anyway speaking of dungeons let's just go to regular dungeons now this is just going to be a comparison this is before I evolve him Okay, this is simply a comparison. So I'm just running this video. This is Dungeon 8, regular normal Dungeon 8. That's the 40 shard dungeon. And it is just Vlad Dracula alone. So this is his own, his own self. This is a Bulwark 8 of 8, level 180, 9 star. We are then going to compare him in the next video to an evolved Vlad Dracula. And I'll probably do a step in between too. I'll probably just 10 star him before I evolve him, run him through the same dungeon. But you can see the damage here, guys. You can see the damage. I'll run this one more time because I was totally talking over this and not paying attention. But you can see here he's doing what? Be well, let's say 30,000 damage on average. Let's just look right here. So I saw some 30s. I saw some 40s and some 20s. Let's just say 30, 30th sh thousand damage to walls and whatnot uh, this is again no magic there's no pumpkin duke there's no cupid there's no druid there's no stacking of anything here this is again a nine star vlad dracula you can say he's got the heat there a spirit mage takes out spirit mage with i think a forty-eight thousand damage tick there on that wall this is why vlad dracula is really amazing guys this is why he is a super powerful hero and why i was so sad before i had him because um you can hit so many targets at once right so many targets it's like a super snowzilla if you guys have snowzilla and no vlad dracula you know what i mean snowzilla is great on paper but the fact that those snowballs are only hitting one target is really the big weakness compared to a hero like Vlad Dracula where when his ability goes off the aura the ticks of damage just hit everything just look at that just ah, tons of targets every target in its path essentially and I do need to level that up to it's half leveled to I want to say 8 of 10 so that'll maybe be another test let's just take is Vlad Dracula an old hero? Yes, but he's a relevant hero, so we are going to dig into him. As always, keep it dirty and dirty up.